gorgeous and a very happy frugal Friday to you. If this is the first video you've seen from me, welcome. I make videos like this every Friday reviewing drugstore makeup, so please subscribe so you don't miss out on any videos coming out in the future. I am reviewing a foundation for you today from Hard Candy. This is their Glamouflage foundation. It's full coverage and promises 16 hour wear. To top it all off, it's only $6 at Walmart. Huh. I've noticed in the comment section of past videos, a lot of you have been asking for more reviews on products from the Hard Candy line. So I'm definitely going to be incorporating those in since it's been a hot minute since I've reviewed anything from them. I'll let you know today in this very thorough 15 hour wear test, is this $6 foundation all that it's cracked up to be? or not. Well, it has been such a productive morning already. I've got 30 minutes in on the spin bike this morning. Jet's breakfast is prepared. Both kids are still asleep. God willing, they stay that way. I do have both monitors here with me in the studio because my husband has a very important meeting this morning, so he can't help me out. I have 45 minutes until Jet wakes up, hopefully. Actually, I should be able to get this filmed in that amount of time. I picked up two shades of the Glamouflage foundation because I wasn't too sure which shade was going to match. I got ivory and ultra light. To me, it looks like ultra light is going to be the best match. This looks to be a little too light now that I'm looking at it under studio lights. I also picked up some of their translucent loose powder, and this is an oil-free powder that's supposed to give you 12 hour wear. The Glamouflage foundation is full coverage. It says it wears for 16 hours straight, and it has, <laughs> Ugh, I just cleaned my makeup table. Has a doe foot applicator, very similar to the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation. I came into the studio this morning and I sat down to put my eye makeup on and I opened my drawer and I looked at my table and I was like, ooh, thank you past self for cleaning this up for me. My past self was very considerate to my future self. I love it when she's like that. This is going on a little drier than most other foundations. It's hard to describe what I mean, but it wasn't as wet. I mean, it looks wet, obviously, but it just didn't go on as, I don't know how to describe this to you, as, um, I'm gonna try though. <laughs> like some other foundations will go onto the skin and feel like they're dripping. This was a little more it's too early. I'm gonna think of the word. I will think of it. Maybe I won't. <laughs> I don't know. It just didn't run all over the place, put it that way. I'll probably go back and edit this video and think to myself, this is the word, this is the word. I hate when I do that, but you, I hope it makes sense of what I'm trying to communicate here. And this is blending in beautifully on the skin. Wow. I mean, in the midst of me trying to find that word, I'm just amazed at how well this is going on. It's full coverage too. It's beautiful. Look at this side to this side. What a gorgeous finish. And I didn't apply that much of it either. See if you can see what I was talking about on the other side there. It goes on drier than your regular foundations. See, that's what I mean. It almost goes into the skin when you apply it rather than sitting on top. In other words, it feels like it's already sinking in right when you stick it on there. I'm blending this side in with the Sedona Lace FB07 brush. I do want to see if there is a difference from brush to sponge in application and in wear time. Hot dog, oh my goodness, this just looks so pretty. Oh. Even with a brush. I mean, typically I don't like using a brush for application, but this is gorgeous. It's 7 a.m. right now, and I probably won't do this check-in until about nine or 10 o'clock tonight. We're really gonna put it to the test. Ah, figures, I'm opening the powder here. It's white, and of course I'm wearing black, so it's all over my lap. Looks like that contains silica. It does not say whether it contains silica or not. It does, it does say on their ingredient list that it does contain silica. So this one will give you flashback 
and flash photography. If you're worried about that, this would not be a good one to use. We gotta test it first, make sure it's good stuff or not. It's a very finely milled powder and it goes on nicely. Gives you a matte finish, obviously. A little chalky looking, just a little bit. <laughs> so far so good, we have a little boy waking up at the moment, so we timed this perfectly. I will just tell you, I loved the application. I love the finish of this. It's so beautiful on the skin. And I'm really, really hoping that this one wears well today because so far, really, really impressed by it. Getting ready to go work out for the night, but I wanted to do a check-in for you on this face. Look at this. It is 6.30 at night right now, almost. And oh, it looks beautiful. I wanted to show it to you before I wrecked it with cardio, <laughs> but it may not affect it. We'll see. I'm, I'm loving this foundation. This has been quite a day to wear it too. Holy cow. It is 10 p.m. right now. 10 p.m. I applied this foundation and powder at 7.30 this morning. So my math is horrible. Let me, hold on, hold on. 10.30, 11.30. Yes, I still count on my fingers. <laughs> I have to start over, hang on. So 15 hours straight of wearing this foundation and powder and the foundation does claim to wear for 16 hours and the powder claims 12 hours. I would say that is absolutely true because when I recorded the last check-in for you at about 6.30, that was about 11 hours after my initial application and the powder looked fabulous on the face. And right now, I mean, this looks really, really good. I am very happy with this foundation and with the powder too. And there's no difference from this side to this side in terms of application because I used a sponge on this side and I used a brush on this side. Both sides look great. And I am very happy with the Hard Candy Glamouflage Full Coverage Foundation. Another good one from the drugstore. My face looks so good right now that I'm going to continue filming. That is something that I never do. Usually when I do wear tests and I'm done at the end of the day and I have to record more after that, I will wipe the face off, reapply it, and then continue filming those videos for future. But this looks so good. All I'm going to do is touch it up with a little bit of powder and I'm done. Let me know what you thought about the Hard Candy Glamouflage Foundation. And if you've tried it out, feel free to share your experience below as well. I will also try to have it linked if you are interested in getting this one for yourself. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. I want to wish you a wonderful weekend ahead. And I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Well, girl, if I'm going to continue filming, I need Visine because my eyes are getting red. I've been up too long.